Hey, get back here. So, kind of uh, some big deals in the game today. We got the uh, major market movers. We think we'll talk about that. We got fat packs refreshing veterans, which I'm not going to go to a lot of detail about since the market stuff in my mind is more important. Um, maybe we should knock the veterans out way, right away. As like I say, get elite players right there. You're like, whoa, what's that? I'm like, we'll see in a second here. All right. So, anyways veterans today we'll go through that obviously as we, we go to it the number one way to support fox is through the sponsor underdog please underdog fantasy if you sign up there um using code gut fox it's literally the number one way of supporting me that is huge i know that yesterday and so it doesn't really help you today they have um they had like a boosted thing it was like a guy got over one point you got it so it's like an automatic winner um where is veterans oh it's all the way at the bottom uh so, definitely number one way of supporting Fox is through that uh, fantasy site right there. All right, so veterans out today. Brandon Marshall will be the 98 overall. The rest are 97. Brandon Marshall, like, you know, 6'5", 230, 96 speed. You power him up, put the either theme team on him or strat items. You don't even need to, like, technically power him up to theme team him because uh, veterans are special that way. Uh, I feel like, you know... If this is the case, we should just do away with power-ups going forward and let everybody get every single theme team on their cards. Um, and that would be nice. Uh, by the way, everybody, thanks for uh, uh, replying and uh, tweeting and, and putting in the comment section yesterday on the, the thoughts around Mutt23. You guys had some absolute gems. Uh, there, like stuff from like, you know, where are classic stadiums to um, yeah, custom uniforms that people talked about. Anyways, uh, let's talk about Brandon Marshall. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, sorry if I didn't reply to all of you, but like, it was a fucking awesome, awesome, uh, uh, comment section and everybody talked about it, but 94 run block is psycho. <laughs> Dude is an offensive lineman out there at wide receiver. Yeah. His lead blocks only 80. It is what it is. But like you will, once he sticks on somebody, it's going to be hard for them to really get off of them. Unless like, I think if you hold the right trigger, they shed a little bit quicker, but uh, we've known that for years. Carrying 90 spin moves. So overall, this Brandon Marshall card, kind of like golden ticket-esque. And I guess you got to be golden ticket-esque to compete with uh, the regular cards that are coming out now since we get golden tickets every Friday. Um, we're getting some very relevant veteran content here. 97 overalls. We've got the Elite Joe Flacco. I know Lamas is new. Um, didn't this guy like get written by Dr. Seuss or something? Uh, Lamas Brown right here as a veteran, which makes sense since he's retired. I don't know. Is, is, is Shouldn't he be in the Legend program? I don't know. Weird that they're shoehorning in, like, retired guys into other programs that are, like, active guys only programs traditionally. Strange strange choices are going on. Something is a foul in the state of Fox Mart. No. Mutt Mart. I don't like it as much. Mutt Mart. Denmark. That'll just say. Stay, stick with the original quote, Fox. Try, stop trying to get smart. This uh, Darius Slay right here, block shed 82. If we look at the other side of it, hit power 90, zone man. Pretty solid overall card for your theme teams, your uh, uh, Detroit, your Philadelphias of the world. Pretty nice card. I, I think that's just like what we're getting now. It's like pretty nice cards all around. It's really too bad that we are stuck at uh, um, 99 as the attribute cap. LeGarrette Blunt for us Steelers is another one out today. We have um, a pretty fast, pretty mean son of a gun, right? I'm surprised his trucking isn't higher. 250, though, he's going to act like an absolute marvel of the world. I do love it. I do love the thick boys um, and just bowling dudes over. But it's is it bad for the game? Oh, I hate the run game. Uh, after playing Madden 20, I... I I absolutely hate the run game more than anything else. Like, people are like, oh, this is cheesy. Yeah, at least it's not bad in 20. Like, Escape Artist is bad, but at least it's not bad in 20. That's how, that's how crazy bad I am about it. Zaven Howard's the last one. And so we'll take a look at him before we get into the market talk. I don't know how much you guys care about the uh, the card talk. Um, there might be a little bit of profit here. Let me take a look at the, uh, the ratio of them. Plus, you fell off. Zaven Howard finally getting the treatment. Dolphins fans can rest easy. Hit power only 72. Block shed 82. It's okay. It's no run block 94, though, for the run game. So, like, if, if the 97s are normally selling, 
Yeah, 115 for 97. 97s right now, eh, that's about normal. I guess they've fallen down to approximately all those Davins at 128. Yeah, there might not be any arbitrage opportunity at the moment. Now, this could easily change later on. Um, and then the fact that you can get like a 7, 96 and get killed really hurts. But anyways, that's the veteran. Let's talk about the overall market. What happened to it uh, with golden tickets, with fat packs, refreshing. Okay, let's just first off take a look at what golden tickets are at right now before we decide to go on. Let me show you what I, I wanted to make this spreadsheet. I, I kept it the same to show you what prices were at for different overalls, what they were, and then let's go to like what they are right now. So 99s were at like 210. Some golden tickets were around that price too. So let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, GTs are at right now. Those things were at 205, 210-ish. So it doesn't look like, even though we had a complete revamp um, of the market, I think the demand of the training pack might be keeping it up a little bit. But you'd think fat packs and people putting money into this game this late in the year would have brought down the market a little bit, but it doesn't look that way at all. 97s still for about 100k. Uh, 97s down a little bit. That's 100k. My spreadsheet's got 111. So it might not be a bad idea at all to go ahead and grab training, snipe training today. 94s, yeah, those things have uh, equalized out. 97s look like probably the best training if you get them under 100k from what I've seen so far. Yeah, 97s, 93s looks like they were good training too. Um, especially with the Get Elite player. I, I think that's a, a super interesting pack. I'm sure we'll see videos. I built my entire team with Get an Elite players, and here's how it worked out. It's actually a pretty good video idea. Um, 28K. Yeah. So, market's about the market. Surprisingly, the changes haven't affected it yet, but it is still new into the day. Uh, it's only changed over about a half hour ago or so. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. 5,000. I, I should have lo looked at the uh, the odds on it. We got a team of the week. So this should help keep the low end of the market low. 81 overall. Hmm. 3.7% chance at a 92. This actually looks like a fun pack though. 5,000 coins. What's tough is that like the way the market is, 5,000 coins, you're not going to win until you get a 88. Obviously, you're looking for like up here to get like you know if you get a 95 it's like 11 packs um overall it, the house always wins guys okay on these on these packs here you're gonna you're gonna suffer but it is it is just straight up you know gambling and mutt it is what it is 89 overall i guess that's a win no yeah yeah yeah. that's a win by a couple thousand coins so it's crazy you gotta get like an 89 now so I do like it. I really do like the Get an Elite Player pack. That's kind of a cool one. Um, the other one I want to talk about um, will be the Fan Appreciation Bundle. I am not going to buy it. Um, its odds have been boosted. If you guys saw, um, this is what the odds were last week on them. So it went from 3.9% on a 97 to 4.7% on a 97. So it is up 95s. 95 plus went up 5% on them. So... Overall, the fan appreciation packs, sadly, you got to buy them, at least right now, until uh, in until maybe they put out some ones for coins. Those are tough. Otherwise, like, apparently, like, the rest of these odds got boosted just a little bit. It wasn't, like, a dramatic boost that's going to, like, change the upward part of the market and what, from what we've seen, right? Unless unless it's wrong. Maybe I, can, maybe I can buy one of these. Let's go ahead and just buy one of these all pro. But generally, on a Wednesday, I don't love ripping them. I think the best day to rip packs now would be Saturday, since you have the boosted golden tickets and the uh, the ultimate legend limited in packs. Generally, I mean, ripping packs, the chance that you'll get one of them are, are low as it is, and you probably won't get one anyways. But it's always nice to rip during those opportunities that you have a chance of getting a, a Bazongo card like that. That would be kind of fun to rip out of packs and it's, it's a little bit more exciting so on today there's nothing really like other than like old golden tickets nothing i'm super ripping for so it's just kind of like uh to show off the packs and show off the overalls in the packs and see if we can't get anything good out of it there's a nice animation but it's going to be a legend so it's yeah a little overall we'll take uh back then um so yeah i, I mean cool all pro fantasy pack but yeah, I, I would definitely go ahead and wait. It's not a bad idea. Like I said, Snipe 85s, 83s. I don't know if I said that. Snipe cards to build Ultimate Legend set coming out on Saturday. We finally got one good Ultimate Legend this past Saturday. Maybe they'll do it again. 
Um, otherwise, like, uh, uh, you know, just snipe in general for training is not terrible, in my opinion. I do want to go ahead and, and rip this a few more times, though, since this is, like, to me, the most interesting part of it flat out, right? Um, 83 overall. I should probably keep that. I would, I, I want to, maybe I should look at which ones I want to keep to build sets and which ones I just want to straight up quick sell um, to keep up with the binder. By the way, like, yeah, obviously, Too Tall and Brady got their um, upgrades today. Um, so they're kind of uh, nice for that. Um, yeah, even inching closer to 99 overall. The 98s this week. Go ahead and do the solos. Uh, I could show, take a look at the solos. 91 Josh Allen. I'm mad. I don't think he's going for much anymore, but when this card first came up, and I think that 91 uh, uh, went up in price, but it's probably right back down to what it was. But yeah, yeah definitely take a look at the challenges. Um, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit now. I, I feel like, is there something else I want to talk about? Um, definitely, because of how important that um, too tall is, you want to get it done. So we have week one token. Week two token will be at 80. So we got another 60 stars to get to 120 for that guy, for the 12th man um, celebrating the fans. So go ahead and, and get through it. Hopefully not too bad. I didn't think last week's was that bad at all either. That's it for the video, though. I don't think I want to pull much more. I, I think overall, like I said, the way forward right now, if you're not going to buy a patch, right? If you don't have a crippling gambling addiction, you want to go ahead and snipe cards, get ready for Friday and Saturday as those are the days, and maybe even into Sunday when the limited Ultimate Legends and Pack, those are the days the market seemed to have risen last week dramatically. This week, we won't see as much of a rise, but you definitely want to be prepped because... People will be using training. It's not a bad idea to sell into people using training. Um, that's all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Otherwise, go ahead and dislike it if it was trash and you hate it. You're like, this guy's face sucks. You just want to punch it. Um, actually, a lot of people that watch it and like the videos hate my face. So if you want to punch my face, like the video. If you hated the video, you go ahead and dislike. Wait, dislikes don't work anymore. What are we talking about? Dog, I'm stuck in like 2016. Anyways, we're ending it. Done. Bye.